Do you ever wonder why Nintendo games feel so good? Well, it's a combination of things, but one of the most important is movement. Yahoo! Nintendo, with this game, wanted to break the linearity provided by the previous games in the Mario franchise. And to do this, they returned to the sandbox style introduced by Mario 64 and Sunshine. But how they achieved such a fun game to explore is through a superb movement system. But why it feels so good to use? I found a really interesting video by Mark Brown called The Secret of Mario's Jump. In it, he discusses the use of verbs for game design. The main verb for Odyssey is the cap through. But what can you do when you perform an action? Let's take jumping as an example. The verb is pressing the jump button. And with it, it comes a lot of questions like how long you press the button for, how much force you used, if it's pressure sensitive, and by how much you press the trigger. And after the action is performed, what else can you do? For example, you can press down to pound, you can double jump, or dive, or throw the cap, or even jump on the cap. These are all interesting questions that can make a movement system rich and enjoyable. And then it comes the tuning part. Here you want to see how high do you want your jumps to be. It's better to rise fast or slow or have a little bit of hang time and fall with an higher gravity to make landings more precise. And following Nintendo's philosophy, when all of this is done, you can start to design levels. As Miyamoto said in an interview for Mario 64, that's how we make games ending at Nintendo too. We get the fundamentals solid first. But creating a good system is not everything. We also need to make the player feel like they are controlling real characters. This is where animations come into play. And Mario Odyssey is rich of animation that feels great. To achieve this, we can use the principles of animation. Mario squashes when pounding on the ground and stretches when he begins to jump. Actions are exaggerated. Each state that Mario can be in is represented by a different animation that shows us how Mario is moving through space and what actions are now possible. The most important part of a character is that it lives in a world. It's not in an empty debug room. Sure, the movements should be fun by itself, but if you can interact with the environment, that's even better. Now, in my opinion, there are two different levels this can be done. The character level and the environment level. Do not think of this as a black and white difference though, but more of as a spectrum. The character level is essentially the interaction that depends mainly on the character. For example, the ripple effects when landing, particles when jumping or running. These are, in the most part, not dependent on the environment. The environment level is how the presence of the character is shown. For example, how in the city the taxi stops when Mario is on their path, or being able to climb on street lights or trees in Super Mario 3D World, or hanging on a ledge. This is all to show to players that they are a part of the world and not just spectators. You are playing a game, creating a story, you are not watching a movie. So, to recap, Mario's movement feels so good because it's polished and tweaked to make the player feel part of a world. It's an instrument for the player to make stories. See you soon.